Aval Steel Workers Protest Overdue Wages Workers of the Aval's National Industrial Steel Group staged a protest on August 29th for their overdue salaries, with chants of, We will persist, we will die, but we will retake our rights. On day 12 of the strike, the workers of the Aval Steel Workers gathered in front of the Aval's Governor's Office to protest their unpaid salaries and non-responsiveness of officials. They chanted, We will persist, we will die, but we will retake our rights. Today is a day of mourning since the lives of workers are being destroyed. France tells diplomats not to travel to Iran. France has told all of its diplomats and foreign ministry officials to indefinitely postpone all non-essential travel to Iran because of the Iranian regime's attempted bombing on a resistance gathering in Paris in June and increased Iranian aggression against France. A memo, seen by Reuters, said that the terrorist attack, which was thankfully foiled by the European authorities before anyone got hurt, was a sign of Iran's increased aggression towards France. Iran regimes Khomeini says Europe cannot save nuclear deal or help economy. The Iranian regime's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, on Wednesday cast doubt on the ability of European countries to save Iran's 2015 nuclear accord with world powers, which is now under threat following a US withdrawal, and said Tehran might abandon the agreement. Khomeini cautioned President Hassan Rouhani not to rely too much on European support as he came under increased pressure at home over the handling of the economy in face of US sanctions, with key ministers under attack by Parliament. Concerns mount over fate of tortured Kurdish prisoner. Mystery still shrouds the condition and fate of Farhad Abdullah Poor, who was arrested on June 30th by IRGC intelligence forces and has been effectively missing since July. Abdullapur's family, from Oshnavi in northwestern Iran, were able to visit him briefly after his arrest in the IRGC detention center of Ermia. They reported seeing signs of torture on his body. Their subsequent inquiries into his current status and the reason behind his arrest have been left unanswered by Oshnavi's judiciary and the IRGC intelligence office. Three girls and a woman drown in waterhole due to Iranian officials' indifference. Three girls and a woman drowned in a waterhole in the village of Zidan, central Nikshar, located in Sistan and Balakhstan province, Iran. This was announced by the Director of Medical Accidents and Emergency Center in Iran Shah. In a country rich in natural resources, many Iranian villages do not have access to water, even brought by tankers or drawn from wells. Two young female protesters in Karchak prison, future still unknown. Two young women who were arrested during the protests in Tehran on August 2nd have since been imprisoned in the Karchak prison of Varamin in undecided status. Nilo Farhomafa, 20, and Yasmin Ariani, 23, were arrested on Valley Asar Avenue in downtown Tehran as they went out in the street to demand their basic human rights in step with a new wave of protests that was sweeping cities across the country.